the mnemonic technique of the method of Loki, Loki being Latin for place or location, which is used to enhance our memory via the use of elaborate rehearsal. And I've personally used variations of this technique when I've delivered long speeches without notes, um, and I don't rate my short-term memory very high. So what I've done is basically had five or six little stories in my speeches that I've wanted to actually convey in a serial order. And therefore I've gone on a mental journey and as I get to each loci or place, it's cued the memory of what I actually wanted to talk about in my speech. So this technique involves four steps. Step one is we need to be able to go on a mental journey with a series of landmarks or significant locations that we can recall in order. So I've gone with my local running track, which is a 3K circuit, and I would literally do a couple of hundred of laps around this circuit each year. Also teach my kids how to ride their bikes around this track. So it's a very familiar journey for me. So my first landmark is the start. Then I go past these, these little rapids or rocks I'll go past the playground and this bridge here. So step two requires a bit more mental effort. We need to create a mental image of the pieces of information that we want to remember. So I'm going to go with four aspects of the biological cause for Alzheimer's and I've already done a YouTube on Alzheimer's so you can check out my channel for more on that. So the first thing I want to remember is that Alzheimer's starts in the hippocampus. So I visualise a hippo camping. A bit corny I know but it works for me. Step three is the critical step in determining the success of the Loki technique. We need to encode the items at each of the loci or locations and just talking about associating the items with the locations doesn't cut it. You need to be able to visualise the items at each of the locations and a way of testing this is again close your eyes, go on a mental journey, arrive at one of those loci's and that should cue the memory of the item. So my run starts at, the, at this point and therefore I need to be able to visualise a hippo camping, associating that with the hippocampus. So Loki number two, which is this stream, which has personal significance to me. Occasionally my boys and I will go down there, me on one side, them on the other. We'll throw some tennis balls across and some of them won't make it. Now, my second biological cause of Alzheimer's is a reduction in the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. So I visualise when I get to this creek, neurotransmitters, acetylcholine being thrown across the creek and some of them not making it. So Loki number three, this playground, which again has personal significance to me. I used to take my daughter down here when she was young. She loved the monkey bars. She would often hang upside down. Her hair would be tangled which brings me to the third biological cause of Alzheimer's, neurofibrillary tangles. So again, I get to this location and I can visualise tangles. So when this information needs to be retrieved, you go on a mental journey and as you arrive at each of the loci or locations on your mental journey, that cues a visualisation of the actual memory. In this case, we've got this old bridge, hasn't been varnished for a while, which again I can visualise plaque forming on the neurons. Okay, I do agree, this is a lot of mental effort just to remember those four simple points, but like I said before, this is a useful technique when you're doing lengthy speeches and there are some episodes or events that you want to actually recall without the use of notes. So I hope this clip has helped in some way.